title of this recording is These Two Shall Pass. I was wondering about the origin of this phrase and I did some research. It can be traced to the works of Attar, a Persian Sufi poet who recalls the following fable. A powerful king asked his council of wise men to create a ring that would make him happy when he is sad. After many, many days, the wise men finally gave him a simple ring with the Persian words, Inniz Bogzarad, etched on it, which can be translated in English by These two shall pass. This had the desired effect to make the king happy when he was sad. However, it also became a curse because it reminded him that happiness is ephemeral. However, today, these four little words bring us hope. The world has overcome many dramas in the past, as well as many health issues. Yet, with the developments in science and technology, as long as they are put to good use for the good of mankind and not against it, of course, we should be able to find a cure very soon. At least, this is what one could truly hope. We are living in the strangest times of times, where things change fast, very fast, thus forcing us to change as well. Being confined can seem negative by its restrictions, affecting our social and financial freedom. Yet, it allows us to become closer to our loved ones, our family, our friends, but more importantly, it brings us closer to ourselves, prompting us to look deeper inside us, prompting us to ask ourselves what can change, what must change for the earth to survive and survive in a healthy and viable way in the long term. Because we are not just talking about ourselves, you or me here, are we? We are talking about the whole planet. So soon maybe, the time will come when we can look back to those past few weeks or past few months with a sigh of relief, whispering, this too has passed. In the meantime, I would like to help you to center yourself again and find inner peace as well as mental and emotional well-being first by giving you some quick techniques, then by offering you a short hypnotherapy session that will end this recording. By all means, you can accept to see what happens in the world, but please push it away. Push it away from your world, from your bubble of protection. This is not my world. This is not your world. To start with, stop watching, listening to or reading the news, or do so only once a day, in the morning for instance. You must also choose a reliable source to keep you informed, not misinformed. You don't want sensational or fake news to you. You don't want fear in your world, just facts, not what could happen because no one knows what's going to happen. And with these techniques, you will change your world anyway. Imagine that you are by the seaside, in a beautiful house on the cliffs. A very strong wind has picked up, bringing rain and hail, blowing on the shore, downing trees, shaking your house, 
You cannot ignore what's happening. The storm is so loud that you just cannot ignore it. It is so hard to believe what you're seeing. In living memory, you have never seen such a thing. You do not have to go out and face the storm though. You can stay where you are, protected, at home, where it is safe and quiet. You can decide not to be affected by what is happening around you. What you decide to do with this storm is entirely up to you. You can recognize it's there, of course, while staying in your safe haven, inside, inside your home, but also inside yourself, keeping calm and saying, this is not my world, I am not part of this, I decide to remain protected and healthy. Now, don't believe this is selfishness and lack of compassion. Quite the opposite, actually. Because when you change your thoughts, when you transmute negativity into positivity, doubt and anxiety into self-confidence, turmoil into calm, you affect the people around you in an incredible manner. You are playing an important role at the moment. We are all playing an important role, in fact, as long as we know what to do. In those uncertain times where anxiety, fear, tension, doubt and concern are major emotions, the people who know you want to be comforted and reassured. Do not succumb to fear. The two major emotions on earth are fear and love, unconditional love. The lesson of this ordeal is to reject fear and replace it with unconditional love. Unconditional love is what you feel for a child or your pet or when you are in nature, feeling wonderful. When you are listening to a beautiful piece of music. Or when you are loved, of course. Then you will lead by example and people will follow you. They will adopt the same beliefs, the same reactions, the same thoughts, without even knowing it. And the ripples of your vibrations will be far-reaching. As when you throw a stone in a lake and the ripples flow in all directions on the surface of the water. When I act in my world, I influence not only my life, but also the life of all my loved ones, my family, my friends but also other people's lives too. Just imagine that on the telephone you are comforting a friend of yours. She will then comfort her husband, who in turn will comfort his children, who themselves will comfort their friends, who will comfort their parents and so on. This is exponential. By changing my world, I am changing their world. By changing our microcosm, we can change the macrocosm. So, from where you are right now, maybe you can already feel the end of the storm. See the sea becoming calmer and calmer, and the sun starting to shine again. You can choose to modify the scenario that seems to be imposed onto us by seeing yourself in the foreseeable future and already thinking of the first thing you will be doing when this crisis will have passed. What will you do? Will you walk barefoot on the beach? Will you go 
to a good restaurant? Will you go to a concert and mingle with the crowd? Or will you catch a plane to go wherever you want to? Think about it. Think about it already and constantly so that your subconscious can get used to seeing your near future and help you to manifest it and thus help us change our future. It is just a vibration mechanism. So what are we waiting to change our vibration, will you ask? All right, let's do it. This short hypnotherapy session will allow you not only to modify your vibrations, switch from beta waves to alpha waves, but also to modify your thoughts, thanks to the suggestions we'll implant. First of all, a quick reminder. Please do not listen to this recording whilst driving or whilst operating machinery. Only listen when you can safely relax, be it in a sitting position or a lying position. Then close your eyes and breathe in and breathe out. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Now, imagine that you find yourself inside a bubble. A bubble like those soap bubbles we used to play with when we were kids. Except that this bubble is very strong and resistant. It protects you against everything. It is a beautiful bubble, iridescent and filled with an incredible energy. And every time you breathe in, you breathe in that beautiful energy. And every time you breathe out, you let go from your mind and from your body any tension any pain, any concern, any anxiety. You can see them leave your bubble and go far, far away in the universe, disappearing in a black hole, far, far away. So breathe in again. Breathe in this beautiful energy and feel it strengthening your immune system, spread throughout your whole body, from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Everything that this energy touches inside yourself is purified, revitalized, strengthened and healed as if by magic. Then breathe out and expel from your bubble any tension, any concern, any pain, any anxiety. Good. You can feel calm already, can't you? And you know that you can do this any time of the day and night. You can visualize yourself inside your beautiful iridescent bubble, protect it and just by breathing in and breathing out you can feel serenity gradually settle inside and outside. Now let your imagination drift and dream Drift and dream and imagine that you are on a hill. From where you are, you can see a beautiful lake down below. At the same time, 
you realize that you can feel the caress of the wind in your hair while you start going down and down and down and down the weather is beautiful you feel amazing the grass and the wild flowers smell so good and as I count all the way down to one I would like you to imagine that each number is a step down on a beautiful staircase each number is a step down towards the lake and each step you take is another step down into deeper and deeper levels of relaxation so that by the time we reach one you will be as deeply relaxed as you can ever imagine whilst still being able to hear the sound of my voice 10 9 moving down easily 8 slowly plenty of time 7 feeling more and more relaxed 6 5 deeper and deeper 4 relaxing even more now really relaxing 3 2 deeper still and one let go now completely let go you find yourself on the shore of the lake now a tranquil lake and you marvel at the sense of deep calmness and comfort that seems to fill your entire being as you stroll peacefully noticing with a sense of curiosity that the lake seems to be constantly changing colors subtle changes blending so smoothly that it's difficult for you to know exactly when that deep sapphire blue has become an emerald green and then a translucent green to finally become a pale blue. The changes fascinate you and you settle yourself down onto a smooth rock and you just gaze across the crystal clear waters. Your hand reaches for a stone that you throw far away into the water and you observe the ripples that seem to flow gently and endlessly in all directions. Ripples that eventually lap against the edges of the rock you are sitting on. Ripples that shimmer in a kaleidoscope of different colors across the lake interacting with the other colors and making new ever-changing patterns you realize that everything is linked every ripple was created by the fall of the stone in the water and has an influence on the following ripple just like your life influences somebody else's life you are here you are part of everything and everything is part of you and you find it easy so very easy to open your mind to immediate and positive change armed with this knowledge you let yourself being lulled by the water and you relax even more, more and more, deeper and deeper. And what I am going to say now, because it is for your own good, at all levels, 
physical, emotional, psychological and spiritual will be completely accepted by your subconscious mind. You will fully integrate these suggestions because you know they are right for you. Your breathing, calm and tranquil, calm and tranquil, is now allowing you to accept the positive changes that are taking place in your life right now. And as you move forward, you develop greater self-confidence, self-esteem, self-love, self-worth and self-assuredness. Day by day, you are feeling better and better, better and better, lighter, happier, at peace with yourself and with the world. You are floating in an ocean of serenity. Your subconscious knows what has to be done to help you change, to help you change your life in the best possible way, at all levels. Your subconscious knows what must change within yourself and around yourself. You might like to remember a time when you had to change something in the past and since you did so with success, you know that in the coming days, weeks and months, you will become a new person and you will enjoy that feeling. You are open and receptive to all the positive changes that are currently taking place in you and around you. You know what you need to do to move forward, but also what you need to leave behind you. You know and you can feel it, that your life is changing for the better now, as you are adopting a new approach. Every aspect in your life is changing and improving day after day. And something has happened during this short session, thus allowing you to deeply change. You will notice that something is different in you and around you in the most pleasant way. And all these suggestions will have an increasing effect every time you listen to this session. Now, you can either open your eyes or still relax. You can even fall asleep if you want to. <laughs>